John Dornemann, Shalom. Hello. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you very much. You are here, not for the first time. No. Uh, because you are basically running the International Opera Workshop in Tel Aviv. Well, with a lot of people. With a little help of some friends. Yes. But um, we know who is behind it, and it's you. And that's well, why we've asked to speak mm -hmm. to you. It's me and it's the co-founder, Paul Nadler, who uh, I met actually here, because his family is here, and he is also conductor at the Metropolitan Opera. So between the both of us, um, he has very good common sense and I have lots of energy. So Lucky us, yes. lucky us, yes. a match made in heaven. Yes. <laughs> We just enjoyed a very special treat. We have seen you in action. And I must say how impressive it has been. And we know that you come from a place with a wonderful reputation, the New, the New York Metropolitan Opera. And yet, you find the time every year to leave New York behind, come to Tel Aviv, and hundreds of opera singers, both Israelis and foreigners, owe you a great depth of gratitude for their career. It's true, the Met is a wonderful place, but like almost everything, it is not self-sustaining. If we don't reinvest in the younger singers of this world, we will wind up without, without anything. And in order to, to find them, we have to find financially the way and the teachers who are gifted. And this program, I'm so lucky that my colleagues who have had great careers um, are willing to come and teach. And these people who have really done it, they know what it is to be on the stage, they know what it is to learn, they know what it is to be nervous, they know what it is to be without money for lessons, and they are all here to, to really help push forward, these young singers. And uh, when Paul and I were in, in Tel Aviv the first time, we found that there were really not, not enough attention being paid to the vocal talent here. So it's been a great journey for us, and, and you know, the fruits on our tree are just so many, it's amazing. And listening to you, it strikes me. It's a mission of love. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I, I love it here. I love the energy. I love the, the desire to do and to be first and to win and to be an artist. These two things combined, they really, they're the basic necessities for being successful in this business. Every year, you manage to attract Israeli young singers and singers coming from all over the world, mm -hmm. which means, in addition, to be able to speak in their language, and more than one, as I know, mm -hmm. it's also about bridging mentality gaps. Yes, yes. How, how do you manage to do it? And, and culture gaps. Cultural gaps. I, I was born in a city that, um, in, the, in Boston, the part of Boston where there were immigrants from everywhere. There were Jewish immigrants from Romania, there were Jewish immigrants from Poland, there were, um, and the Irish, and the Italians, and, uh, and then you went through the tunnel and on the other side, the English, the very English Bostonians, and the not so English Bostonians. Um, and you, I grew up in, in a place where everybody had another language, everybody either made wine, beer, tomato sauce, uh, pita, pizza, um, it was really uh, such a fortunate beginning for me and I was very lucky to, to have been um, in Barcelona working when there were so many stars, Caballé and Krauss and, and just hundreds of really great singers, it was a time of great wealth and they weren't shy about telling me how to do things and how it was done and why it was done and great conductors and also when I, when I went to the Met um, I was the first coach prompter female that was there 
and Maestro Levine was very kind to me and he always made sure, Joan, think about this, this is an idea, let's try that. And he encouraged um, imagination and, and inventiveness. So I've been nurtured by a lot of people and it's, it's give back, you know, it's, it's a necessity. Um, I have no voice so I can't sing anyway. <laughs> what can we wish you for the future? Um, frankly, a great deal of money. <laughs> and a lot of people in our audience. A lot of new people. I want to invite people that haven't been here before to come. And, uh, and bring the kids, you know, when they get too tired of it, you can leave. But uh, let them enjoy this youthful energy. We have so many interesting operas on subjects that are important. Uh, subjects of, of like L'Enfant Prodigue of Forgiveness and subjects of uh, the um, dialogue of the Carmelites of, of what happens when, when our religious modes become out of hand and we have um, Flader Mouse which is so much fun it's just fun, it's so silly, we really need it <laughs> and we have thoughtful operas and fun operas and operas that are very moving and so you can take a pick and we really want to invite people to this great building where we started. And next year we will be back in Jaffa, for, but for the moment we are kind of home. And uh, just to see how, how these singers come together. And they build lasting bonds that from 25 years ago, I know that these people are still in touch with each other, still singing together, still dependent on each other for for help, for strength, for energy, for, for faith, for, for everything. So, it's well worth doing. Inspiring, truly fun. inspiring. One last question, if I may. We keep asking ourselves here in Israel, how good is our opera? How good are our opera singers? You are the best one, I think, to answer that. Um, well, not only are the opera singers here good, but Um, Ken Rice is, is the queen of Vienna. Um, uh, so many singers from here are at the Met. So many are singing all over Germany. They have jobs. They have real jobs. They have careers. So Hadar, Hadar Halevi, for instance, she's just singing everywhere. She's a great mezzo-soprano coloratura. And um, she just finished Samson and Delilah in Paris. But not only the singers. I looked around the Met rehearsal room this year and I saw Tomer, stage director from Israel at the Met rehearsal. Leora, pianist from Israel, who came in and said, I want to learn about opera some years ago, playing the rehearsal. Paul conducting, I'm there doing the music. And um, uh, Hemdi Kfir, who is there in charge of Italian diction wow. and French. They are all from here. Amazing. Do you know how many people want these jobs in this world? They have to be super qualified, and they are. And after talking to you, I think we have a clue who is, who is responsible for all that. Well, it's really, it's really the team. You can't do this by yourself. It really needs the team, and I, I'm very grateful to this team because they, they are underpaid and everything else, and they come and they... they They teach, they teach all day, they work so hard, and uh, they're really great. Joanne, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you very shalom, much. Shalom, shalom.